Alright, good morning brothers and sisters. This is Danny from catchforchrist.net and today we're going to be learning how to memorize 2 Corinthians 2.14. As always, we're going to be using the Scripture Typer app, which I highly recommend. If you would like um, more detailed instructions on how to set this app up and how to you know, take advantage of some of its features, uh, please see the first video um, that I posted on this uh, channel, on this playlist. But uh, we're just going to get right into it. It's pretty self-explanatory. So you're going to hit My Verses, hit the three dots in the top right corner, hit New Verse. And we're going to be in the book, or the letter, I should say, of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. I'll stick with the NIV, but there's other versions you can use. You can also, you know, write your own version um, of any verse as well. So I'm going to put this in the verse of the day collection. It's always nice to keep your verses organized. Import verse text. Okay, hit save. And then just scroll down to wherever you filed the verse. Okay, now we're going to be using the 3x3 three three method. There's three steps that we're going to do at least three times each. The first step is to type it. Second step is to memorize it, and the last step is to master it. So when we type it, we're going to hit the first letter of each word, and the word should change from gray to black. So, but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Okay, once again, but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 And one more time, but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Okay, so that's the first step. Second step is to memorize it. As you can see, the app uh, removes half of the words. So you're essentially filling in the blank, but you are still going to type the first letter of each word. Now, this intermediate step in between, you know, just copying it when you're typing it versus recalling it completely from memory, when, which is mastering it, this step is so crucial, and this is why I really uh, recommend um, and enjoy using this app. Um, as always, I want to recommend that you recite the verse as you're typing it. So you'll be typing it and reading yourself type it. You'll be reciting it and hearing yourself recite it. So your brain is interacting with the verse in multiple ways simultaneously. So let's see. But thanks be to God who always leads us as captives to Christ in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Now when you make a mistake, it'll tell you, of course, how accurate you are. Um, and when you hit memorize it again. So one, you can see the other words are now flipped. Um, the other words are now visible. Uh, the other half of the words. And where we made the mistake before there's going to be a little heat signature that's going to tell you where you made a mistake previously so you know which areas you need to focus on a little more. So let's try it again. But thanks be to God who leads, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and leads and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 as you can see, I made some more mistakes that time. And you can see they're red now. All right, so let's see. But thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 All right, and the last step is to master it. Let's see how close we can get. But thanks be to God who always leads us and leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 
All right, so it hit 96%. Now my threshold of accuracy to advance the review frequency is 96%. I think by default it might be set to 90%, but you can change your settings um, in settings. Um, so what that does is if I do this verse tomorrow and get at least 96% accuracy, it will advance my review frequency to every two days and then every three days, every four days, and so on and so forth to review once a year and then eventually do not review at all once you've gotten it down pat. Um, so but my recommendation to you is to try to get at least 100% accuracy um, at least three times, I should say. So you want to get it completely correct and practice getting it completely correct more than you've struggled with getting it less than 100% correct. And that's my advice to you. So that, especially if you do this uh, the first time you learn it, it's going to be much easier to recall it, you know, tomorrow and the day after and day after, etc. So let's see if we can get it 100% correct. So, but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. Second Corinthians 2.14 Let's try it again. <clears throat> but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. Second Corinthians 2.14 And once again, but thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Alright, so that's 2 Corinthians 2.14 um, So now this verse is added to our library So if you hit review on the first screen You'll see which verses you have to review um, Which ones are coming up And you can see 2 Corinthians 2.14 is right here Before that, it looks like I have a, quite a few verses to review um, That will be due today But you know, we're just sharpening our swords, you know, sword of spirit. So you really want to, um, you know, see this as not a chore, but something fun, something to look forward to, something like a spiritual discipline. So uh, that's all for today. Please uh, check out ke uh, catchforchrist.net. I should be posting a translation and just some notes um, on this verse. Um, and uh, you always want to read the verse in context, so I'll embed a Bible reader on that page and you can, you know, really read um, more about Second Corinthians and you get some more context. But thank you for watching the video. This is Danny from catchforchrist.net. Have a great day. God bless.